Hey you all, lovely to see you all again. You've all been requesting this, so here it is, the intro to the stage. I am warning you, it sounds a lot easier than it is. It's freaking hard, so just... Here we go. So let's have a look at the first chunk. This is going to cover the first and the second repetitions of the riff. So I want to start off with a hammer on from 9 to 11 on the third string. And then I'm going to tap 16. And I want to do that idea five times in a row. At the end of that, I pull off to the 11. I'm going to do a very similar idea. But now I'm going to play from 9 to 12 on the third string and then tap 17 five times. And then adding that final pull off ending on the 12. Now the next one's a little bit strange. I've got, I'm going to be playing uh, nine of the third string and then tapping with my left hand to 10 of the second string. So it goes. And then after that, I've got my right handed tap hitting 17 of the third string. Now, I've seen a lot of people play it like this. You can do it that way. I won't judge you, but I watched Sin play it live and he was doing this, which I think is a little bit strange, but it's uh, it's less of a stretch. So once again, we've got five groups of that. At the end of that, I'm pulling off from that 17 tap to nine of the third. Okay, then we go into sort of a diminished D dominant idea. I'm gonna be playing eight 11 on the third string. I'm gonna be tapping 17 twice. And then I go. So it's a similar timing, but we're just moving the tap around. So I've got two groups from the 16 tap. Actually, it's three groups, and then I've got the pull off. So it'll be three seven, two 17s and three 16s. So this is what we should have thus far. Okay. Now for the next chunk, I'm gonna repeat the first three ideas, which was this. Next one. That's the same. And then after that, we work into a string skip arpeggio, which is this. Let's slow that down. I'm doing eight, 11 again on the third string, and then I'm tapping 16 of the third string. And then I jump, hammer on from nowhere, 11 to 14 on the first string and then I'm gonna tap 19 of the first string. And then after that, I just reverse the arpeggio. So I go 19, 14, 11, and then I tap 16 of the third and pull off 11 to eight. Nice and fun. Let's try that whole idea a little bit slow with some tabs. Okay, so we've just repeated two repetitions of the riff. The third group is nearly exactly the same. It's just when we get up to the string skip arpeggio, that's a little bit different. So what I wanna do now is we're gonna start off with the same start, which was eight to 11 and then 16 on the third string. Then when I get to the first, I go 11, 14, and then I've got, what I'm doing here is I'm playing 19, 20, then pulling off to the 19 with my tap, and then reversing that part. After that, I'm just gonna tap that 16 and then reverse 
11, 8 on the third string. And that's pretty much all of the third section. Let's look at that whole idea again with the other parts before it. Okay, so let's have a look at the fourth section. I'm going to start off with the same three groups that we usually have, which is this. Now, instead of going with that uh, cheeky little lick before it, I'm going to go just straight in to the string skipped up edge, but it's going to have some variations and some more delicious taps. So I'm going to go straight from 8, 11, 16. Then I jump to the first string, and I'm going to play 11, 14, and then I'm going to have a rolling tap idea playing 19, 20, 19. Whoop. So I've got... Then after I've done the, the 19, 20, 19, I'm going to pull off 14 back to 11, and then hammer back to 14 again. After that, I'm going to play 19, 23 back to 19. Then after that, I go pull off, hammer, and another pull off. So it goes... Then to finish that off, I'm going to tap 16 of the third string and then pull off 11 to 8. So let's go through that whole arpeggio nice and slow. We'll add the other stuff before and then we can do it again even slower with some tabs. Okay, now let's put the other parts before it. Let's do it a little bit slower with some tabs. All right guys, last section, pretty redonk, so please be patient with me. We're gonna be going 9, 11 to 16, exactly the same as we've had in nearly every section, pretty much every section. Okay, then I'm working to the next group, which is a little bit different than what we're used to. I'm going to play 9, 12, 17 twice as usual. Then I jump up the octave. I'm going to play 12, 15, and 20 on the first string. And then I reverse that 15, 12. And then I have a hammer on from nowhere. We're working into a C major arpeggio. And that was on 13 of the second string. To finish that off, I'm going to jump to 17 of the fourth string with the tap. And then it goes 14, 10, 14. So that whole C major arpeggio. That's the idea. Okay, the next thing we're going to deal with is a pretty crazy A minor arpeggio. I'm going to start off by tapping 17, 20, 17 on the first string. Then after that, I'm going to pull off 12, 8 on the, on the first string. And then hammer to 10 of the second. After that, I'm going to jump back to 12 of the first string and then just do a straight arpeggio down the A minor. Just a five string A minor arpeggio. So that was going 12, 8 on the first, 10 of the second, 9 of the third, 10 of the fourth, and 12 of the fifth. All together. Okay. Now the next idea is a similar concept down the octave, uh, just the last couple of notes are a little bit different. But the start's exactly the same down the octave. I'm going to play 14, 17, 14 on the third. Then I pull off 9 to 5, and then hammer to 7 of the fourth. Whoop. That's better, Chris. And then after that, the sweep is a little bit different. I'm going to pull off 9 to 5 on the third, and then play 7 of the fourth string. And then I'm pulling off 9, 7, 6 on the fifth. After that, we work into a, a pretty crazy kind of augmented diminished idea. I can't quite put my finger on uh, what this arpeggio actually is. So what I'm doing is I'm playing 6, 9 on the fifth string, and then I'm going to tap 13, 14, 13, and then reverse it. Okay. After I reverse it, I'm going to move forwards one more time and then just roll forwards. So we're gonna go 6, 9, 13, 14. So all together, this is what we should have from the fifth string of the most recent arpeggio. Okay, then I jump 
Up the octave, or quite similarly up the octave, I'm playing 8, 11 of the third. These notes are a little bit different, actually. And then I'm playing 16, 17 of the third. Okay, after that, I'm going to jump to the first string, and I'm going to play 11 to 14. And then I'm going to play 19, 20, 19. Then I pull off, and then I hammer to 14. I've actually got two pull-offs and two hammers, so it goes... And that's the end of that little arpeggio. So let's try and take it slowly from the start of that. At the end of that, I go to 15 of the second string. I've got two full tone bends, and then I think it's either a tone and a half or two. It's a pretty big one. And then I've just got one more at the last one. So we should have sort of four angryish bends all together. You can add some whammy as well. Let's try this whole section even slow with some tabs. Alright, if you made it to the end of that lesson, I'm very proud of all of you. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe and check out my Facebook group and my Patreon uh, in the links in the description. I'll catch you all very soon.